good morning everyone uh, at the outset let me thank the organizers for giving me this opportunity to make a presentation in this workshop and uh, i really feel privileged to talk on this topic craft approach to dental caries management in children so let me tell you in the beginning what is the craft uh, approach craft is nothing but caries risk assessment for treatment now we know that caries management must be risk based with the shift in the understanding of uh, caries over the last two decades we now want to treat caries as a disease and not merely an aggregation of lesions so in order to treat it as a disease we have widened our spectrum of management and in that we include a lot of preventive care a lot of uh, minimally invasive uh, procedures and we also incorporate a few uh, restorative and surgical options now uh, in the beginning i am going to tell you why caries risk assessment is needed in fact uh, to tell you a fact the two things which are very important in the management of dental caries in children are the caries risk and the second is activity of each of the lesions now why caries risk is important is because imagine a child who has about 15 out of 20 teeth decayed and we treat all the teeth with good restorations or pulp therapies or whatever that is needed and if the risk factors continue what would happen 6 months later or an year later maybe we will have to see the child again with some recurrence of the problems so in order to avoid that not only the management of lesions is important but also it is the risk management that is important and that's why risk has to be assessed now the second thing that i spoke about is the activity of each, uh, each lesion that needs to be assessed it may be possible that with good risk management approaches we could make a lot of active lesions inactive and that would reduce the burden of restorative care and in the long run even the burden of surgical care and that's why if we integrate the risk management with uh, the management of caries activity then that will uh, be a lot uh, that will do a lot good and thus we could manage caries as a disease uh, using some medical uh, model methods and we don't have to treat caries only surgically or operatively with this introduction i want to start with the uh, presentation uh, i would like to thank all those who have uh, contributed to the development of craft and who have done uh, research on the craft a uh, few of them are professors and a uh, few of them have been my students and ex students now why caries risk assessment is important because i did tell you why it is important but because the risk exists for almost everyone in this generation in india say about 50% of children have cavities by the age of 5 uh, years so there is a risk for almost every child if one of the two is uh, getting the disease now caries risk is uh, basically the risk assessment is basically the prediction of future caries based on the diagnosis of current disease by evaluation of risk factors and protective factors so as to make evidence based clinical decisions be it preventive care be it treatments now the caries risk assessment is necessary for planning a treatment because we not only want to plan the treatments or preventive care we also want to enhance the patient participation we have to uh, we have to provide certain behavior surveillance so that the patient practices those recommendations which we have made at home and we also are able to schedule regular recalls and we uh, engage the patient better now there have been many caries risk assessment tools uh, such as uh, cambra for the us or cariogram that was the first tool that was developed in sweden then nuscra in singapore traffic light matrix uh, and there are many other tools but none of those uh, were suitable for indian population and that's why we uh, tried developing a caries risk assessment tool back in 2016 now what could be the requirements of 
an ideal career risk assessment tool it needs to be simple it needs to be practical it needs to provide guidelines which are evidence based it should be easy to use and inexpensive if we incorporate say radiographs or we incorporate um, laboratory uh, techniques for caries activity assessment or microbial counts then that becomes a little complicated as i mentioned earlier it should help us monitor the patient's progress so it should be uh, such a tool that it is easy to administer on the day one and on the recall appointments and uh, if it's an expensive or elaborate exercise then both the uh, practitioner and uh, the patient they might lose interest in that over a period it should be a precise tool and it should make recommendations to the patient as well as to the doctor once the tool is available the tool should make certain categorization or a graded uh, categorization so that we know whether whether the recommendations uh, when once followed they reduce the risk or they uh, they are effective or not now let me get straight into the topic that is the craft approach now it's a very simple four point uh, scale which compri comprises of these four domains we ask questions related to diet fluoride exposure which is a preventive factor the dk status and other factors now in diet we need to know whether the child is uh, exposed to two or more sugary or starchy foods in a day if the child is receiving bottle feeds or if the child is on long term syrupy medic medicines or uh, sugar pills in the protective factor that is fluoride we ask for the type of toothpaste that the child is brushing uh, teeth with we ask for whether the child is using any fluoride mouth rinse we also ask for whether the child is receiving six monthly applications of uh, professionally applied fluoride and the last question it, it's not really relevant to uh, india but we have incorporated this question whether the child is living in high or optimally fluoride uh, water uh, fluoride in water areas now in relation to the dk we look for obviously the present untreated caries we also uh, check whether the child had a past caries experience because we know that the past experience is a predictor of future caries a parents caries status is a relevant uh, question to ask particularly for a very young child or an infant because we know that caries is a vertically transmitted disease we also ask for uh, a few other questions such as anything suggestive of suppressed immunity uh, also we look for or ask for questions related to hypomineralization we also look for Uh, tight contacts or not in space dentitions or a developing malocclusion particularly crowded teeth because that can amplify risk because that will be a uh, problem related to plaque control and we also check uh, if there is any hyposalivation so with all these questions asked what we come to know is uh, how much is the risk and the risk is in which domain so we get a graded scale of very low or no risk low risk moderate risk and high risk and we either assign a red star or a green star now this can be done manually using a print out of a sheet like this or it could be done using an app and recently we have relaunched the app we had developed this app about 5 years ago however that was a part of another app app for caries which included craft and sugar meter uh, and we had developed a prototype of that Uh, but in the recent version we have removed the sugar meter and it's a dedicated app for the caries risk assessment so this craft is now available uh, as an android app from play store now once we feed the uh, app with all these uh, uh, answers to the questions then the app makes a sheet of recommendations and uh, i will not go through the entire uh, list of recommendations app will choose appropriate recommendations as per the questions so it's a customized set of recommendations that is developed and a pdf pdf of that can be shared to the patient now the craft also provides guidelines or recommendations to dentists i want to give a disclaimer here that these guidelines 
are not entirely sufficient but it provides us the measures preventive as well as restorative and surgical that could be taken into consideration while uh, providing treatments to the uh, child so as per the risk category appropriate preventive restorative or surgical uh, measures are suggested and also the follow up measures are suggested as we can see here uh, in the category of very low or no risk only home measures could suffice to a child and there is no need to uh, extend much of the care now in as the risk uh, uh, increases we can see that uh, some office measures also become relevant and some of the restorative and surgical surgical measures also could be necessary now if, if the risk further increases to a moderate uh, level then again there could be a necessity of uh, more restorative and surgical options as you can see here we have considered not only uh, home and office preventive measures but restorations and a lot of minimal invasive procedures and in certain cases where the caries have related to pulpal or apical pathologies pulp therapies extractions could also be necessary also if you paid attention in the last column it gives us some guidance about what should be the frequency of the follow ups and as the risk increases the necessity of uh, frequent follow ups also increases so in the highest risk category uh, we possibly include all possible uh, uh, measures that are required for caries management but yes it is specified that we take into consideration everything that is patient counseling related home measures office measures starting with minimally invasive procedures because these procedures as i said earlier help in the management of activity of lesions also and then the elaborate procedures pulp therapies extractions etc and we could require much more frequent follow ups as i told you a minute back craft is now available as an android app and it's a free app to download from play store it's a user friendly app uh, it it's really quite simple and uh, i would be able to provide you a craft manual also it's a pdf uh, which uh, you can refer to in case there is any difficulty using the app or understanding the approach uh, as i mentioned to you earlier that it creates a pdf which you can share with the patient and it also creates a pdf for a dentist now here we are not talking about only pediatric dentists using uh, craft because most pediatric dentists would be aware of caries risk assessment based approaches but this can facilitate caries risk based management even in general dental practitioner settings so this is just uh, a, a slide show of how the app works so initially there is a login screen and after the dentist registers we can enter the patient's details then we ask these domain specific questions then it gives a uh, color coded riskometer that is it categorizes the risk and then we can develop recommendations and we can share the pdf of the recommendations now i want to tell you a little bit about the success story of craft as i said earlier we conceptualized that in 2016 and the first ever presentation of it at a pg convention of isppd uh, it was a table clinic presentation and two of my students they won the first prize for the same in 2018 there was a workshop uh, organized by the dental council of india first decade no dk uh, and in that workshop i presented uh, and proposed the use of craft uh, for uh, the risk assessment and management of caries in children and it was accepted as a proposed uh, tool and later that year at the international academy of pediatric dentistry global summit on early childhood caries i presented Uh, a summary of three research projects that we had completed by then on craft and uh, i won the first prize at uh, the conference and uh, an overall third place uh, amongst more than 110 presentations over there so far we have completed five studies for the evaluation or validation of craft and two of which have got published and one is uh, in the process of publication under review we have presented uh, these research papers on craft nationally as well as internationally this is just a summary of all those research projects in the first research we tried to uh, validate craft against alban test 
and we found that there was a very high correlation between the Albert score and the Kraft score. In the second, we tried associating the Newton's triptychotide count of the mothers with Kraft, and we found a moderate kind of a correlation. It's low to moderate, 0.38 uh, being the row, that is the coefficient of correlation. Uh, in the third study, we tried assessing the carries risk status uh, uh, using uh, Kraft, of course, and the oral health related quality of life in uh, three to six year old children. And we also found a significant association between the two. And in the fourth study, we tried associating the carry status and uh, the carries risk using two approaches, that is the Kraft approach and a reduced karyogram. Uh, and both the tools showed moderate agreement in uh, the carries risk assessment. Uh, I'm sorry for this busy slide and a part of that is uh, cut, but I think I've just summarized whatever work we've done so far and the fifth study is also uh, underway. The results are available to us, but we haven't yet uh, uh, completed the work. So that's all I want to say. This is the scan code and this scan code uh, will uh, help you download the app. If you have any questions, you can uh, ask me those questions. I thank the organizers again for giving me this opportunity. Thank you.